for this uh, very good bill. Thank you very much. <laughs> I call Phil Twyford. Well, Mr Speaker, it was quite something to hear uh, the man who has done more to protect that most endangered of political species, John Banks, That's right. uh, revealing, oh, revealing a very soft and sensitive side to his, uh, his personality that, that he's hitherto never revealed to the House, this uh, deep concern that he has for endangered species. And I must say, uh, it makes it makes a nice change. It makes a nice change from the sort of flinty fiscal conservative uh, <laughs> face that the man who will surely be the future member for Epsom. That's right. Who will surely be the future member for Epsom if we if we can just stop people running around putting up hoardings <laughs> with his own name on them. So um, it's very good to follow the, the future member um, for uh, Epsom. It's, it's interesting, you know, I, I, I noticed um, uh, that the last two National Party members who got up to speak, in spite of uh, warbling endlessly about what a wonderful member Jackie Dean is and what a great bill this is, I did notice actually that they both appeared to be asleep when the call was uh, uh, available. And they did a, they, both of them actually, um, Maggie Barry and... Um, and uh, the future member for Epsom did a wonderful impersonation of Jerry Brownlee when he's having his afternoon nap and the dinner bell goes. <laughs> <laughs> they jumped up from their seat, all kind of confused and disoriented, shuffling I'm through, sure shuffling, shuffling, shuffling through their papers, desperate, right. desperately trying to work out what bill it is that they should be Not talking about. <laughs> Um, Sir, I thought that the, the member Eugenie Sage actually um, made a very good comment in her contribution that this bill uh, really is kind of useful tinkering. And I don't think anybody's going to disagree that, uh, yep, making the, uh, consolidating the, the penalty provisions across half a d dozen different pieces of legislation uh, is, um, to, uh, to improve the protection of our conservation and natural heritage is a good thing. That's fine. But um, I was sitting here uh, listening to, to the uh, earlier contributions and thinking about uh, Eugenie Sage's comment and reflecting on what it is that really makes this national government tick. What, what are they really all about? And... Uh, um, Money and privilege, my colleague um, Clayton Cosgrove says. Yeah, and so when they're not actually selling off publicly owned uh, assets, when they're, when they're not, they are indeed botching it, when they're not rewriting our employment laws at the behest of Warner Brothers, when they're not uh, handing $30 million over to Rio Tinto Zinc, no job, no job, no job guarantee, when they're, not, when they're not uh, rewriting our gambling laws, as part of a deal uh, to get Sky City to build a $400 million convention centre, when they're not uh, uh, creating draconian new penalties uh, against the right of peaceful protest on the high seas at the behest of Anadarko, when they're not doing all these sorts of things, well, what are they doing, actually? What are they about? And um, we can... Uh, we, can, we can make some observations about what they've done in the in environmental and conservation area. So what we've seen under this, under this government since uh, John Key became Prime Minister, we've seen a systematic undermining of the environmental protections and bottom lines. We've seen the gutting of our climate change policy, walking away from uh, Kyoto. We've seen uh, uh, countless numbers of, piece of, le of pieces of legislation uh, that they brought to this House, which weaken the protections uh, in the RMA for the natural environment and the right of communities to, to have a say. We've seen the systematic weakening of local government and, and really uh, a determination to tilt the playing field in favour of uh, developers, in favour of capital and away from the environment and away from people. And, uh, and, and the recent fiasco around Nick Smith and the Ruatanifa Dam, in which he gagged his own department... Order. ..that has... Sir, Third reading speech. Yep. I'm coming back, I'm coming back yes, sir, yes. to the yes. Conservation yes. and Natural yes. Heritage yes. Protection yes. Bill, which, yes. we, the, which has been described as a piece of useful tinkering. And, um, Mr Speaker, it would be remiss not to observe the and remark on the difference... <laughs> between this bill 
and the government's record generally in conservation and environment. And, and nothing reveals that more than the fiasco around the Ruatanifa uh, Dam. And, and this bill, sir, does some good things. It does some little practical things to actually improve the administration uh, of the protection of our natural heritage. But there is an, a huge irony, sir, there is a huge irony in the fact that the bill actually increases the penalties for things like illegal white baiting or fishing in marine reserves, and yet this government presides over the systematic overfishing of many, many marine species yeah. in New Zealand under the quota system. It does. There's a huge irony in that. Um, the, uh, this bill actually increases the penalties for people who may fe illegally fence off a slice of na the national park, chop down a few trees, and yet it was this national government who recently uh, stripped out the protection for the urban forest um, and has deliberately hobbled the ability of local councils to use tree protection rules to uh, preserve the urban forest. If that's not an irony, I don't know what is. The Select Committee agreed with Marion Street's uh, amendment to incorporate the uh, Marine um, Mammal Protection Act in the various bits of legislation uh, uh, that are consolidated, that, that their, their, their penalty and compliance provisions are consolidated by this bill. And yet this government has consistently refused to do anything substantial to protect either the Maui's or Hector's dolphins, our two most endangered uh, marine mammal species. Um, and uh, so, sir, there's no shortage of irony in this debate, and, uh, and it has to be remarked that um, while the member is happy to bring uh, a bill to the House that will uh, increase the penalty for people who are cruel or violent or abusive to, for instance, uh, a baby seal washed up on the shore, this government has stripped out resources from the Department of Conservation. And, uh, and, um, and it's worth pointing out, sir, that in the 2009 budget, DOC had $54 million cut from its budget over a four-year period, and there have been 400 jobs cut from the Department of Conservation under this government. That's around one in six staff. And in September 2011, the government announced it was restructuring again, cutting 96 members of staff, saving $7.5 million. So uh, it's just not on for, for members on the National Party benches to get up and warble about their commitment to the conservation estate, their commitment to the natural environment, when they have presided over and voted for time and time again legislation in this House which weakens our environmental protections and has cut resources from the Department of Conservation, which is the very agency that New Zealanders uh, have charged with the responsibility of protecting our natural environment and protecting uh, endangered species. So, um, having said that, sir, we, do, uh, we are voting for this bill. We do think it's worthwhile to um, create a consistent, consolidated uh, uh, schedule of penalties, a two-tier uh, schedule of penalties that will act as a, both as a greater deterrent um, for people who are uh, behaving in a, a destructive and abusive way to our natural heritage, um, but also will make it easier for the authorities to deal with the people who, um, the seal clubbers, the, uh, the people who uh, smuggle uh, geckos and tuatara out of the country illegally, uh, the people who will um, uh, mill a stand of trees on the edge of a national park. Um, it will make it easier for the authorities to deal with those uh, kinds of offences. Thank you. I call Claudette How Howiti. Uh, Tēnā koe, Mr Speaker. This bill sets out to better protect our special...